Hey y'all, it's Maddie, and I'm back with, of course, another video for you guys. And today I'm going to be showing you guys what I use to curl my hair, like what curling irons, wands, hot rollers, and I'm going to be showing you one more thing that I have incorporated into my uh, hair care routine. So I'm looking forward to today, and hopefully this will help you guys out with how to style your hair differently. So I'm going to kind of go in order of what I did today to curl my hair. I mean, it has fallen out a lot because I was up super early this morning and then curled my hair. And I ended up taking a nap in the middle of the day, so they have fallen out a lot. So don't judge just straight off of what my hair looks like right now. It was a lot more full and like curly or earlier. So the first thing I did was I took a shower, shampooed and conditioned it, and then I towel dried it. And um, usually I just let my hair air dry. But today I knew that I was going to be curling my hair, so I decided to do something different. And my mom always uses mousse in her hair, like, because she curls her hair, like, every single day. Like, she has the same hairstyle she does every single day, and so she's, like, got her routine down. But, um, I just want to try out something that she uses all the time, because I know it works really well for her. So, what it was, was this Tresemme Extra Firm Control Mousse. And this is level 4, so I guess this is pretty heavy duty. And I'm sure you guys have used mousse before. I know I have, but I like didn't really know how to use it properly. I know if you like put it in your hair whenever it's dry or like you're scrunching your hair and you just like leave it like that, it's gonna turn your hair hard. And I don't like that at all. So I um, put it all throughout my hair and then I blow dry it. And this is what the pump looks like. And it's just liquid in it right now, but once you start shaking it, then it'll turn into foam. And then I just gave about three to four squirts into my hand and then I started my roots and then I ended up going down like here and like just ran my fingers through it and then I brushed through it after that to get it all over my hair and so it was just like coated in it and then what I did was I blow dried my hair like normal and once it was dry I realized like there was so much like volume in it like I could tell that if I styled it it was gonna stay so I recommend that, like I'm going to start using that a lot now every time I curl my hair because I like it a lot. And I want to take a lot of time on makeup and make it look really good, but I knew if I was going to be curling my hair it was going to take a really long time too, so I was like, well, I might as well start like doing some of my hair and then let it sit and then do some of my makeup and then finish my hair. So what I always do every time I curl my hair is I use hot rollers. And I know that's kind of old fashioned, but I love it and I think it makes my curls stay like 10 times longer. So this is the one that I use and I know these are super old, like I have two older sisters and my oldest one I think had this whenever she was in high school. So this is like super old and I don't even know if they sell this brand like or like this like whole like roller kit anymore. But I know there's like a whole bunch of like newer rollers that you can go get um, or if you have them already just use them up. and. Um, but these ones like actually still work really well for me, so I'm not going to give up on them until they go out on me. So this is just called the Clairol Custom Care Center, and it just looks like this. And I just take the lid off, obviously. And then there's three different sizes to this one. There's like a small one, a medium one, and a large one, so I'll show you that right now. This is a really, really tiny one, and I never use this one because it gives you like little, little tiny spiral like ringlets, and I do not like that, especially for my hair since it's so long. And this is the medium one. This is the one that I always use on my hair no matter what. And what I do is, um, I use this like, what I did to do this so I could do my makeup. And this is what I usually do, is I just like make a row like all the way like this down the back of my head. And then I do like some on the sides on this side. Because it's like kind of like where my part is. I just like do the top of both sides. And so I just do that and I get my hair up here and I roll it down, roll it down, roll it down. Right here. And I'm actually going to show you guys what clamps I use. I use these clamps. And, you know, you can get them in different colors or anything. Um, so I use the medium ro medium roll. And these are the clips that I use. And you can just get these for like $2 at Sally Beauty Supply. And I love them because they just like put them on there and it's like gonna stay there. Like it keeps your hair right in place. I like these better than like the curved ones just because it's like so like it's gonna stop right there. You don't have to like curve it into your hair around the roll or anything, so, or the roller, I don't know why I'm saying roll, it's not like we're eating bread rolls. Anyways, um, these are the ones that I use, and then there is a larger size, and it's like this, and I use these occasionally if I want like wavier hair or bigger curls, so, for the most part, I always use the medium size ones, I like those the best. Um, so I went ahead and did that, and then I moved on to my makeup. 
So those were setting in while I was doing my makeup and so I only really had like the bottom layer of my hair left. So what I did was I took this curling iron and I love this curling iron so much. I've had it for like five years. It used to be my sister's when she was a senior in high school and she's already graduated from college so like this has lasted me forever. Uh, this is just a Con Air 1 inch and I always keep it on level 25 because that's the highest it can go and I just really like to get it like as hot as it can get so I can like my curls will be like tighter and they'll like stay there like faster like I don't have to take forever for it like to heat up or whatever. So I just use this and I use this every time I curl my hair. I really love it. I think one inch is like really a perfect size for if you're wanting to curl your hair or anything. So that's the curling iron I use and I also just wanted to show you guys this one. I didn't use this today but I use this a lot whenever I want to have like wavy curls and it's just a wand and I got this two years ago for Christmas. My sister got it for me and it has lasted me a long time. I think that's a really long time for a wand. And this is the Proess. You spell it P-R-O-U-S-S. -S. And I like it a lot. And I think it's just super cute because it's all pink. And I mean, what girl doesn't love pink? I know I do. So after I took out my rollers and I curled the bottom half of my hair, I went ahead and I teased my hair. And she's a little rat, rat tail, rat tail comb, rat comb, ratting comb. I don't know. I use this little teasing comb. And I just got this from Sally's also. And you know, I just back combed it, or back, I don't know, back combed it? I think that's right, yeah. So anyways, I just did that to give me more volume. And then I pinned it up just like this. And I use these little goodie bobby pins. And I love these so much. I just got, they stick in my hair so good. Like, these are not gonna come out of my hair at all. They don't slip or anything. And I just get the brunette, um, you know, the ones for brunettes and it's just, black on bottom and brown on top and I th I'm pretty sure I use the black one just because my hair is so dark. Anyways, that's how I got my curls and that's how I always get my curls. So if you guys are wanting to try that out then I would hope that you guys do and I hope that this was a great help to you guys. Thank you guys for watching and if you guys like this video then go ahead and hit the like button. And if you guys aren't subscribed already, just go ahead and subscribe. If you guys really like the video that I gave you guys today, or if you want to see more of them, just comment down below and tell me if you want more like these, or you can also tell me any other video that you guys want from me, because I'll be happy to do them for you. And I will also leave links down below for my Twitter, Tumblr, and Pinterest. And so you guys can go ahead and follow me on that if you guys are interested in that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.